If you walk through a crowd with Jordan, you see the same thing he sees. You see all the eyes aiming in. And I asked, what do you see in the crowd? And he said, sometimes I'll see a father and a son. They may not think I've even noticed them. But sometimes Jordan would say, I wonder if they have any idea how much I'd like to be them. Last night, we began the show with the disappearance of Michael Jordan's father. Tonight, the worst fears have come true. James Jordan was found dead, the victim of an apparent murder. When my father died, I had him for 32 years. I was very lucky. Yeah, I looked at it as being lucky, not as being disappointed that he wasn't around anymore. I was lucky that he was there when I needed him, that he could influence my life to look at situations that I use to help make my decisions to this day. Some kids never have that. Sure, I would love to have him now, but people are put on this earth for a reason and you, you utilize the time that you're here. You never know when that's gonna be taken away from you. That's one thing he taught me. But why he's here or why they're here, they should make an impact on someone's life. And he made an impact on my life. That's what, that's what bring him into this world. After the third championship, my father kept kind of hinting towards me playing baseball. Stop playing basketball, why don't you give your baseball uh, a shot because that's what he actually got me started playing when I was six years old I played baseball and he felt that I could play baseball and do it with the same conviction and attitude that I played basketball every day the first person there before the Sun would be Jordan and he was there because he wasn't good he would work with a batting instructor and work all day long and be the last person to leave every night also. Right three. Money's no stand usual. But he's trying. Say hey, he's no Willie Mays. But he's trying, man. What it did teach me was don't be afraid to try. The worst thing that can happen is it doesn't, it doesn't pan out the way that you envision it. But at least you know that by giving it a shot. People were were basically saying that I didn't have no reason being in the sport, and I was degrading the sport. When those negative things started to happen, the only thing, I, I wish my father was there to give me the positive reinforcements that I needed. I asked him what it was like for him in the morning, and Jordan said, I get up before the sun comes up, and I make myself some breakfast by myself. He was down there alone. And I get in the car, and I'm driving to spring training, and there's no one really out on the roads yet. And I look at the seat next to me, and I see my dad. And I talk to him. I think to myself, Pops, we're doing this. We're doing this together. And the day would end, and he would say to the batting instructor, can we do a little more? I think I'm getting this. I think I'm learning this. I think I'm getting this. And that's when Sports Illustrated put him on the cover, saying that Michael Jordan is embarrassed baseball. And as I would watch him there every night as the sun was going down and the other ball players had left, and I would see this guy working to get better, Michael Jordan working to get better, I couldn't help thinking that if you ever have children, you ought to pray that they grow up someday to embarrass you like this. Michael Jordan.